In this video, we're gonna review where debris accumulates. So this is a house uh, in one of the communities we serve all the time. This is a little landscape view of the of the, uh, the yard. So really what I'm trying to point out is in the backyard, there's very little trees, right? And even the trees that there are, they're very small. So really the back didn't have much debris at all. Uh, it had some roof runoff and some moss and such, but not really exposed to any trees, right? There's no large trees here, however, you turn the other, other direction, there's a giant tree and it's really close to the gutter. So this area had a ton of leaves. So anytime you see a tree near a gutter, that area is gonna have leaves. Uh, because as you can see, this is fall and this is a giant tree, had leaves all over it a couple months ago. Over the last couple months, they all fell. Where do they fall? Pretty much you know, around the base of the tree, which happens to be right next to the gutter. So this gutter had accumulated lots of leaves. This is the view of the other front. So some areas, like there's a little gutter right here, that's also relatively close uh, that accumulated some leaves, but this less so and even less so on the other side. So leaves always accumulate wherever there's trees, especially large ones that the leaves have fallen uh, that are close to the gutters. So the combination thereof pretty much dictates where debris accumulates. There's trees near the gutter. The trees uh, have lost their leaves. Uh, therefore, all the leaves uh, accumulated in that area and not so much in the other parts of the house. Uh, that don't have the same exposure to trees uh, or debris. So just a little overview of that's where you can expect to find uh, debris and particularly leaves.